I've created some interior walls. Uh, let's check and see how they've tied into the floor above. By default, if I click on one, uh, one wall, its base constraint is on the floor that I'm on, which is level two. And the top constraint defaults to the next level up, which in my case was the roof deck. Let's look at that in, iso in isometric. And I want to show you, you can see how those walls are sticking through the slab. So my choice is to either take the, those walls and do an offset. And so instead of attaching to the top of the roof deck, I do an offset of negative 200. But there's a better way to do that, and uh, I want to show you. First of all, let's take this and turn uh, this into a three-dimensional sectional view. So when we're in the 3D view, and you come down to section box, check that. It shows the wireframe section box around it. And if I click on the wireframe, it's got directional arrows. And I'm going to just move this cutting plane into my building just to expose the walls. Now we can see a little bit better what's actually happening with that wall. It's correctly sitting on top of the slab, uh, but it is, it is uh, on, it has to be attached to the underside of the slab. So what I'm going to do is highlight that wall and right click and say I would like to select all instances in the project of those interior walls. You can see they're all connected. And rather than changing the offset here, I'm going to use a command that says attach. Under the modify walls tab, attach top base. So I click on that and now it's going to give me a choice and I'm going to attach that to the slab itself. So you can see the slab highlight. Uh, I'm going to click on that slab and now you see all those walls disappeared because now they have attached themselves to the slab itself so that trimmed them off with the bottom and the beauty of attaching it to the slab is if that slab was to ever move in our building we change floor heights the walls would grow with it